Hey, good morning, folks. It's Rabbi Donald Maher here at Med Solutions. This is a Med Solutions moment. I want to talk to you this morning about <clears throat> osteoporosis, osteopenia, and other issues uh, related to the bones. You may know somebody or yourself who has um, had a, a diagnosis of um, stress fractures, or I have a fractured spine or maybe you've got an L, uh, L2, L3, L4, L5, S1, herniations of the disc. Um, I've had people come to us and say, um, you know, I've got a broken back and come to find out what they really meant was the doctor had told them after an MRI due to some major pain that they had fractured uh, vertebra. I want to tell you the difference between a fracture and a break is one, this, okay, is a pencil. That's a break. This, I heard it crack is a fracture. It's a compromise, but it's not a full break. And I don't want you to be so easily scared in thinking that somehow you're walking around with a broken back, folks. That's typically not possible. Um, but ultimately, here's what's going on. If on your bones you have a periosteum, that periosteum is uh, the outer skin, so to speak, of the bone. All muscles and sen uh, tendons have to attach to that to that periosteum. However, <clears throat> when you're lacking minerals and your muscles become strained or in the event of a trauma such as a car accident being hit from the side, broadsided, rear-ended, whatever it might be, there's going to be a muscle trauma and that muscle trauma is going to re, uh, result in contraction knots within that muscle as it contracts and splints the injured site. Now, that splinting or contraction is going to lead to um, contraction knots, which is an area of muscle that is maximally shortened, and now that muscle is literally being uh, drawn together because of the knots, and then the attachment points on the bones are being compromised because they're being pulled towards each other when they should be, say, this long, they're being pulled this way, now I'm going to have like my collar, we'll pretend this is a periosteum, and I'm pulling it away from the bone, the body's going to try to re-weld, for, for lack of a better term, the periosteum back to that bone. That's done with calcium. Now if you're low in magnesium, number one, that's going to lead to the lack of muscle relaxer, um, muscle relaxation, it can't take in the potassium, which is a major factor in relaxation of muscles but it has to have magnesium. It also has to have magnesium for proper calcium intake, uptake, um, and release at where the motor in plate zone meets the muscle called a mo uh, the, I'm sorry, the motor nerve meets the muscle at the motor in plate zone. Then there has to be ionized calcium released at that point where the ATP or something called adenosine triphosphatase can then activate the contraction mechanism. However, when there's a mineral deficiency, there's disorder, there's anomalies, and the body cannot stop telling it to contract on a minuscule level, but it creates multiple knots. So that's the, the groundwork for all of your um, fractured spine, C4, C5, C6, is a scaliness involvement, which involves all the brachial plexus, brachial neuralgia, which is pain down the arms, numbness and tingling in the fingers, poor circulation, uh, all kinds of things that you may be dealing with are mineral based and we need to get the mineral levels back up in your body in order to rebuild the tabernacle of David. We can't rebuild the body without bringing building materials. Now if you're female and you've had children, you took minerals out of your body to build the child. And if you had a lot of children, you took a lot of building materials out of the mama to build the baby, but you might not have ever made a concerted effort to replace those minerals in order to rebuild the structure which builds babies. So, with that being said, what ends up happening is that more women end up suffering with uh, fibromyalgia than men do because women are losing more minerals than men. If you urinate, defecate, perspire, or have a menses, and then also have babies, uh, that's two things that you do that men don't do and you're going to be losing more minerals. Also, the chemical makeup or the personality makeup of most women is, is going to be a little bit higher, um, higher revving, higher strung, more tension, 
Uh, men are just simple. We can forget things just like that. Uh, all you got to do is say, let's go hunting. And we forgot all about the bills. So hats off to you ladies. But with that being said, you need more minerals. If you've been told you have osteopenia, I want you to know that osteopenia was a word that was never used 20 years ago. But because the pharmaceutical companies want to sell you an osteoporosis medication, they have to open the door. It's a door opening uh, word that allows you to begin to conceive in your mind that you're going to have osteoporosis and that's going to affect you in the long run because you've already spoken it out of your mouth. You're supposed to be a king. You have dominion over this earth. And if you speak it out, then it's got to happen. You have a moral obligation to fulfill the very words you speak. Remember that the Bible even says that bitterness can rot the bones. <clears throat> if we're dealing with bitterness or resentment, unforgiveness or guile, I want you to you know pray about that. Get rid of those things. Quit carrying them around with you. And expect God to have already sent you the Redeemer. He's already sent you the healing. If we bring the magnesium levels back up in your system, not only will you see things like um, atrial fibrillation, arrhythmias, tachycardias, those things will begin to normalize. They're going to restore because those are just red flags telling you, hey, you're malnourished. You need to get your magnesium levels back up. High blood pressure is a lack of potassium, fluoride, and magnesium. Our products with the meds products, which are Formula 513 and Myo2 meds, both provide a balanced solution that matches your body's uh, blood, plasma, and interstitial fluids consistency. Constituencies are all the same. You can bring them, they, they match, they match 100%. If you take a pill, you're going to only going to get 42 to 43% of what you buy. Why buy something and then let them only give you 42%? The pills will pass through your body. It's a colloidal versus ionic mineral. You need to get the minerals into your system. I'm Rabbi Donald Maher. I will shoot you straight. I'm going to keep it kosher. We're always going to do a square deal here. If you don't see results in one month after taking our product and following my uh, protocol, if you follow my protocol and you can look me in the eye and tell me it didn't do you any good, I'll give you the money back. That's not, No one else is willing to do that. Not Herbalife, AdvoCare, Thrive, or any of those guys. There's not a full disclosure. Our products are tested by a third party. They're insured uh, for a lot more than you can imagine um, against every incident. So we've got our products insured for $5.5 million per incident. That's how safe our product is. It's safe for all ages. Use it as directed. It'll bring you the results you're looking for. Are you looking to lose weight? You need to feel great. You're look, worried about your osteoporosis. Get your magnesium levels up. You'll see your bone density literally turn around in one year on your next bone density scan. I guarantee you're going to see a huge improvement, if not a complete restoration. That's all I got for today. I hope you had a good time. Sure went by fast. Uh, tune in. Go to our website at myokinics or myo2meds.com M-Y-O-2 the number 2 M-E-D-S and um, take a look at our products if you got questions you can email me at dmaher at myo2meds.com that's D as in Donald Maher M-A-H-E-R at myo2meds.com and I will look forward to seeing you it's Shema time have a great day <laughs>